This is part three of basic audio editing in GarageBand, and in this screencast we're going to be uh, working with the volume levels in the clips. Now between this screencast and the last one, I edited down the ambient. I kind of have its, um, you know, kind of an intro, and then uh, as the music starts to get going, then I bring this interview in. So right now it sounds a little something like this. But as you can tell, the ambient right now, the level of it is too high. It's really competing with the interview in terms of being able to clearly understand what he's saying. So we have to lower the volume level of the ambient sound. Now, if you remember from the first screencast, this uh, carrot-looking device is what will toggle on and off your track volume. And this is the track volume represented along the timeline. Each track has its own associated volume, so you can edit the volume of each track independently from the other one. And uh, by clicking on this line, you will form these dots, which are anchor points. And you can drag these anchor points both down and up to lower and raise the volume. So in this case, we're going to form two dots, one right before the interview starts, and one right after the interview starts. And we're just going to drag the second one down. Now, the slope of the line, the more gradual the slope is, you know, the more gradual the fade in or the fade out is, because it's taking more time along the timeline. And the steeper it is, the quicker it happens. So we're just going to do that. And now it sounds something like this. About three weeks ago, I got called by a couple of bands, and... I still think that's a little too quick, so... Oh, I made a new anchor point. Okay. Let's try that. About three weeks ago, I got called by a couple of bands. And so now it's low enough. We still know that there's music going on, was, but it's not really uh, competing really with have his interview. Time or energy to, to put on a concert, but uh, God really put it on my heart to do something for Haiti. Now, typically here, you'd have you know a few more quotes or some detail sounds or something like that. But in this example, we're going to pretend that this is the end of your audio. And we're just going to make two more dots, bring it back up, and let's see how that sounds fading back in. Put it on my heart to do something for Haiti. And then you would probably have, you know, a little bit more of the ambient with some more photos, and then after a while you would have a nice gradual fade out, to, and you would fade out the picture as well and, you know, have your ending credits. That's really all there is to it. Um, just make sure that if you're bringing in interviews that the ambient is low enough where it's not distracting from being able to understand and hear what the interviewer is, interviewee is saying.